Hey guys, and welcome to Looker's Pokemon Blue Walkthrough Part 1. I am sharing this channel with two other people, Blackhawk41 and Incog0, so definitely check out their videos. They're doing red and yellow. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak, people call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Not your average animal. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Others use them for fights. Yeah, I kinda left that part out. My name, as I already said, Looker. There we go. Right, so your name is Looker. This is my grandson. He's been your rival ever since you were a baby. Wow, what did I do to him as a baby? Oh my god, and he forgot his name. Yeah, Oak's losing it. He's getting old. Um, my rival's name, I will name him after one of my co-hosts of this channel, Incog0. And there's no number, so we'll just say O. Oh. That's right, I remember now. His name's Incog0. Looker, your very own Pokemon Legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. And now I shrink. Oh my god, what just happened? I'm playing the SNES. I, I thought I was playing with... Uh, I, I, I thought I was talking with Oak. What the heck? And look, we got our, a, a little plant there. Go over onto the potion and withdraw a free potion. I used to forget that all the time. Uh, that's it. Nothing really much to do here in this town. It's a very small town where we start out. Um, oh yeah, our mom. Right, all boys leaves at home someday. It says so on TV. Oh, so she gets her parenting advice from TV. That's interesting. And here we are, Pallet Town. Yeah, very small town. Um, yeah, that's from there all the way down to there. It's about like 12 steps. Pallet Town. Shades of your journey? Oh, wait. And what's interesting is Pallet Town is like, pal Palette is when artists used to hold colors. And most of the cities and towns in this game are named after colors. And this is where we started a game, so that's pretty interesting. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items in Pokemon and data via PC. Oh, wow. Well, how would we feel if Pokemon stored us data via PC? It wouldn't make us feel good. And no one's here. Yeah, just Pokemon. We can't go off and steal them or anything. The game doesn't let us. It's an encyclopedia-like, but the pages are blank. I guess who's gonna have to fill that out? Ah, ha, 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 me. Yeah, we have to do all the work. There's an email message here. Calling all... Wait, why are we leaving, reading po Oak's email? Wow, I, I really feel mean. Ah, the Pokemon link. We'll find out a little more about that later. There's Incogs here. I'm not gonna talk to him. It's funny because... Oak... Oh, prof he... Oh, Professor Oak... Alright, he explained to us that he's been working his entire life on Pokemon research. And he's like, here's the Pokedex, it's empty, now go fill it. Seriously, what'd you spend your entire life on, Oak? Um, he's not here, alright? I'm not gonna go into Incog Zero's house or anything. Uh, I can't swim, apparently, in this game. It really sucks. I I'm not gonna wait around for Oak. Okay, let's, go nah, let's just go into the grass, alright? Wait, Oak? Hey, wait, don't go out. W where'd you come from? Oh my god, Oak's a psychic, he can teleport. It's unsafe. Wow, Pokemon live in tall grass. I've been in grass before, Oak. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. Sorry about that, guys. Someone was at the door. But anyway, let's get back to our adventure. So, he's gonna give us a Pokemon finally. And it's like, seriously, this would have been a lot easier if you were just in your lab since the beginning. No, seriously, it just would have been so much easier. And guess what? See the spot that he's standing in right now? He doesn't move from this spot for the rest of the game. Oh my gosh, it's like seriously, couldn't you have just been here and taken your $9,000 oh, expense pay trip? Cruise thing, I don't know, sometime other, I don't know where you were. Okay, I've always wondered that. So he says that these Pokemon used to be his and we can have one. And it's funny because he gets to start Pokemon training when you were 10. And he's like 167 now, maybe 168. So you expect this Pokemon to be pretty high level, but no, they're only level 5. Charmander, the lizard Pokemon, everybody's favorite. Obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. Everybody likes Charmander, but I want to keep looking. Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. Now, um, most people drink water, this thing throws it up. That's basically what they're trying to say. And the first Pokemon I ever created Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant 
like Sprouts and Grows with this Pokemon. And nope. So guess which Pokemon I'm gonna take, guys? And this is Pokemon Blue, so I'm gonna choose the mascot Squirtle. Squirtle, tiny turtle Pokemon. Just look at it, it's so adorable. It evolves into a beast. This Pokemon's very energetic. I received the Squirtle. I have a perfect nickname. Uh, really quickly in the comment section below. Uh, oh sorry. Um, tell me what star you guys would have picked. Cause I'm really interested in knowing if you guys really would have picked Charmander. And our rival's gonna be a jerk like he is and pick the Pokemon that you're weak against. Grass is good against water, water is good against fire, fire is good against grass. Go figure. I don't understand how grass is good against water. It doesn't make sense. Uh, grass is in my eyes. I can't see. That's, that's the only way it makes sense. Wait, looker. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Professor Oak okay with this? Like, there's millions of dollars invested in experiments around here. We could just break it. I mean, it's okay with Oak. Seriously, I'll take you on. Yeah, any day. Come. So our first battle with Squirtle or Tsunami.
not gonna go there yet because one, I can't even enter there. Oh yeah, that guy. Um, I'll talk about him way later. You can't get there until you get to the chop down the tree. But yeah, your rival's actually there and he will fight you with a very high level Pokemon in that route. Let's go to the Mart. I hate this part about the games. You came here from Hollow Town? No Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Yeah, see, this guy, this guy, like, he's not even busy. No one's ever coming up to him. These guys are just staring at the shelves. And he wants us to take it. Seriously. So now we have to go deliver it to Professor Oak. These are one-way uh, lunches, by the way, which is, um, if you wondered why I wasn't going through them in the first place. But seriously, um, in the game, uh, it's so misleading. You don't know you're supposed to go there. But they just assume that, you know, you're supposed to go to the mart and get that. It's the only way you get past the drunk guy. Seriously, I don't understand about this game. And that drunk guy actually teaches you how to um, catch a Pokemon in the newer games, because I guess they're like, oh, we never taught him how to, how to actually catch a Pokemon, maybe we should do that. But, wow, we haven't run into any Pokemon this entire thing. Right, well, um, yeah, but they never actually te teach you that you're supposed to go to the bar. Anyways, um, look at Blackhawk 41's Pokemon Red video and Inkhawk CR's Yellow video. I highly recommend them. We will be um, giving the parcel to Oak next video, part two. Um, sheesh, that's, I think that's it. And then we'll be heading north of where that passed out guy is and letting us go. I don't really want to call him drunk. Uh, that passed out guy won't let us go. And, um, yeah. Stay tuned because uh, next episode I'm actually going to show you where to get a town map so you can actually figure out where we're going. So, until next time, stay tuned for some more Pokemon Blue.